Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make Shizwan bread rolls. So let's get started. To prepare the stuffing, heat a kadhai or a pan and add around 1 tablespoon oil. Then add one medium sized onion when the oil becomes hot and at high flame fry the onions till they turn slightly golden in color. Then add two teaspoon ginger garlic paste. Fry till the raw smell of the ginger and garlic is gone. Keep the flame between low to medium. Next add two cups of grated cabbage. To the cabbage add one teaspoon soy sauce. 2 to 3 teaspoon shezwan chutney salt to taste mix well and cook the cabbage you may add 1 teaspoon more soy sauce if you like it once the cabbage is cooked add some chopped fresh coriander mix well and our delicious Shezwan stuffing for the bread rolls is ready. For the bread rolls, here I've got bread slices. So for the amount of stuffing we have prepared, you would need around 12 to 13 bread slices of medium size. If you make bigger bread rolls, you might need less bread slices. So remove the sides. It's very important to use fresh bread. I mean you can use a little dry or crumbly bread but you would find it a little difficult to pack or seal the bread rolls. Here I've got some water to dip the bread. So take one bread slice, dip it in water and immediately take it out. Between your palms, squeeze out the excess water. Don't panic or don't worry if the bread slice breaks. Just place your stuffing and try to seal like this. Press and give it a spherical shape just like we do for laddus. Just make sure that the stuffing doesn't pop out anywhere. If you see that, just place some bread and seal it. So this is ready and now I'm going to repeat the same steps and make rest of the bread rolls. You may use two bread slices, that is take one, place some stuffing, place the other bread slice on top and then seal. Here I've made 6, I'll make the remaining later. So with this recipe you can make around 10 to 12 depending on the size of bread you're using and the amount of stuffing you're placing inside. Heat your oil at medium flame and then drop the bread rolls inside. If you fry them at low flame then your bread rolls would become oily. So make sure the oil becomes nice hot and you fry these at medium flame or at medium to high flame. Take the bread rolls out once they turn golden brown and crispy. You can place them on a paper towel or a sieve like this for the excess oil to drip off. These are crispy on the outside and soft inside with delicious shezwa and cabbage stuffing. You can serve these with some mayo sauce or chutney or you can enjoy these just like that with some tea. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Give this recipe a try and enjoy!